Every voxel sandbox game has a unique way of for rendering mini cubes that make up the world. For instance, games like Minecraft and Vintage Story use different voxel rendering optimizations for their game engine. Techniques like face culling, greedy meshing, vertex pulling help minimize the number of vertices sent to the GPU. It optimizes the geometry of the game, resulting in a better gameplay with high performance. I don't know about you, but grid meshing seems a bit complicated and I would like to have multiple voxel models in my game without a lot of changing variables in the algorithm. I'm sure there's another way around it in order to implement dynamic voxel models with grid meshing, but I'd rather not spend too much time on the subject. At first, it seems a bit limited, but we actually have three or more options for us to use. First, we can use face culling, which is an optimization that Minecraft Java uses, but obviously doesn't work well because the game sort of lacks in performance and has some rendering issues. It is also known as vertex pushing in OpenGL, which we send the data like position and texture coordinates down the rendering pipeline per vertex. Although this method works well, it results in some memory problems, which we can probably use our memory in a better way. Another option is bit packing all the vertex data into a single value, like the position, texture UVs, and lighting to reduce memory usage. The only downside is some precision loss, which leads to limited voxel models that have to be scaled down within the cube shape. But it does come with a performance scan when it comes to sending data towards the shaders. On the shader, we unpack the data then divide it by a factor in order to get the precision for our model. However, there is still a limit to this, but this could be a way around. Now, this method works, but the only downside is I would like to have my game engine support multiple models and to load them very easily from the file or whether hard-coded in the game. Now, you can use this technique when it comes to optimizing your memory usage, but there is a precision loss when it comes to uploading floats for your models in your game. Of course, unless you guys find the way to retain the precision of your models, please let me know in the comments below. Our last option is vertex pooling, which we can use efficiently for our voxel game. This is probably one of the best methods that I have implemented into my game engine for uploading dynamic voxel models. This is done by using an OpenGL shader storage buffer object or SSBO. I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. To make things a little bit more easier, we can compose two different buffers, shader storage buffer objects for our voxel data. In my shader code, I use a face buffer for all the quads and a model buffer for all the vox models like UV coordinates and vertex offset. In the shader code, we can access a specific vertex by using the GL vertex ID attribute in order to pull data Instead of specifying all the vertex attributes per vertex, we can only upload what is needed per face and on the shader use the index to grab the data which is needed to create the quad. Be sure to check out my latest Foxo devlog if you want to join our discord server link in the description. Have a good one everyone.